think uh, stories are what hold culture together. And I think sort of in the pyramid of basic needs, story comes right after food for human beings. I think we all need stories as we need air to breathe. Uh, they sort of help us interpret our lives and help guide us and in, in, in how we should lead our lives and give us uh, an interconnection with other people that's really super important. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I think, you know, having a common read in a community is just a, a huge way to bring people together. And it's, and it's uh, in a world that's being divided and polarized a mile a minute, it's just a, it's just a wonderful slowing down, bringing people together. I, I just can't believe all the rivers. I mean, you know, I come from Colorado and also the mountains in Colorado are, tend to be in big ranges and seeing these monadnocks of these lava peaks standing alone above the country, all snow capped. It's just, they're just dramatic and amazing and beautiful. And uh, yeah, yesterday I went fishing on the Metolius and I don't think I've ever fished a spring fed creek before that came out of the ground. It was so clear, so healthy and beautiful and green. It's, it's just an amazing place. I think libraries are islands of humanity in a world, you know, that's getting less and less humane. <laughs> and I think they're watering holes. Uh, they bring people together. And as I said about stories, I think stories are, you know, people need stories. Libraries are where stories happen. Also, uh, it, a library is where I first discovered that I wanted to write fiction. A librarian handed me a copy of a short story book by Herm Hemingway called In Our Time. And I, I read it when I was 11. I was like, I want to do that. Uh, I used to bring home when I was, you know, five stacks of children's books from the local library. And uh, I love libraries. And I love librarians, too. I mean, they're just the most dedicated, most humane, fabulous teachers. So, uh, and curators, libraries. When you go to a five-star luxury lodge, nothing's going to be as it seems. <laughs> it never is. Put that many super rich people together, it's not going to be good.